The Nekamara. My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wanderer, storyteller, artist immature, and hopefully this offshore hangar cluster here by Cheese has the ship I've been looking for. We'll see. This stage seems to have only one energy element, so that has me both simultaneously curious and worried. Now I'm even more worried. There are keys. It's gonna be an entire key rush, isn't it? Might not be. Whoa, that's actually a cool enemy. <laughs> Fires out a bird. Every so often, it seems. Hmm. Now the big question is... Need two keys before you can access the jet sled. Or the, uh... Water bike over there. Okay. Ah! Fairly annoying frog. It gunks up your shoes. And you're fairly beef in terms of how much damage you take. That's two keys. Wait, three keys? Hmm. Wonder why there's so many. Maybe it's for the best that I keep all of these, just to be safe. Make a jump. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. And I even have extra key, just in case. So, so as I predicted, this stage is just gonna be a key rush. I'm gonna need to find keys and do some clever platforming so I don't have to spend them. Well, spend them unnecessarily, I should be saying. That's what I'm talking about. I could I could keep proceeding, but I'd rather get every single key just to see how much that changes things. And at least right here, I have two to spare. Eh, gonna have to go back up to get that last one. I like this music. It sounds very distinctly Genesis for one reason or another. <sighs> I know it's supposed to be NES, and it is NES, but I can picture this fitting the sound chip for Genesis too. Oh, what? Where'd my extra key go? I call bull. I hope there isn't some uber reward for having every single key in the left in the game. Or sorry, in this level. That would kind of suck. We'll see. Pick up that. Yeah, no avoiding that. Take care of you. Get hit. That's four keys. That's all I could get at this point. So now I just gotta play it safe and prevent my use of keys. Well, I could burn a key. I should be fine provided I'm decent with my platform. And I am. We're good. Need four keys for this last section. And by the look of it, I'm going to be using this jet sled to get from place to place. I could barely see the water here. That's... kind of awkward. That's two. Uh, uh, okay. That was a little funky. What? Okay... I didn't think I was gonna be able to make that, honestly. I really shouldn't be Buster Dueling these things, but... Hey, I was hoping for a little bit of help, and I did not get that. There goes the help that I wanted! Uh. 
Oh boy. Hey Froggy, can you give me some health? No? Damn it. What a big pain in the butt. Damn it, missed that key. Oh well. I have five. That should be good enough. Actually, considering my health, it probably won't be. Do some quick navy. Good. Nice me. That got a little dicey. I knew it. If you had extra keys, you'd be able to get something up there. Need five keys. Is it actually like just a shortcut? That's still fairly useful. Well, if you're able to do the entire level in one gun. Wait, this is underwater? I wasn't paying attention. How? Where was the water line? Okay. So that's how we're playing it. This is at least an interesting idea for a uh, quote unquote boss fight. Credit where it's due. Uh, ow. That's one. Okay, there's the water line. Ha. Get up here. Excellent. That's two. Just keep moving. Ow. It's fine. Uh, random. Oh, so it can get over the spikes. Okay, I get it. So that means I'm probably gonna have to take that jet sled first. Ow. Good. So next... Ow. This is the way I was supposed to have gone to get that. And fourth key is right there. Dodge. Shoot that thing out. That's four. Ah! Oh, it just straight up gives you some of the keys that you might need. That's cool. Saves you work. Ah! Bruh. What? Not again! Like, that just happened last part! Uh Let's try this again. Right, I need to go down back down there for a moment, because that is where the first key is. Uh, try again. Try again to tempt me. Ow. Aren't we clever? Uh, stupid frog slime! <laughs> One more time. Dodge. Again next week. Wait for it. There we go. That's one. And if I go up here, there's key number two. And over here to get on the bike. Do some quick finagling. That's three. Ow.
then go over here for key number four. Ow. There we go. So then where am I going to go for key number five? Thank you for the HP. Because it's not like I can go in there. So that means there's a key somewhere that I missed. If that's the case, then where's the key that I missed? I'm probably missing something fairly obvious. Ow. Let's do some looking around then. Because there's nothing in this nook out of the health and the weapon energy, which I don't need. And over here... Ow. There didn't seem to be any... Oh wait, there's a few. So that means I need to deal with the frog right there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> okay, I at least know where all five keys are. That's a good thing. Time to get them. So that means failing my platforming a little bit. Deal with the froggy. That's one. Ow. That's two. Excellent. This makes three. Good. Ow. Double ow. And... Triple ow. Good. Good. Take up that health. Oh, that's how I'm meant to discover this key normally. Okay. Oh! <sighs> Just the constant mortar fire. It puts me on edge. I know it shouldn't, but... It just continually puts me on edge and... Ugh. I end up making stupid errors as a result of it. Take care of you. One. And... Two. Good. Good. Three. <laughs> Excellent. I could do that, no issues. Not as hard as I thought it'd be. There we go. And that's four. Keep going this way. Crap, crap, crap. Triple crap. And that's all five keys. So you know what? Get me out of here. There we go. One more jet sled section. Where I just leave the facility with the energy element. Whee! 
I don't exactly know what's causing all that beep, 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 beep. It keeps occurring on the uh, jet sleds, on the uh, water ski, but okay, whatever. Horizon Zero by N-Blast. Three music discs and an energy element. Let's see what we got here. That's a pretty background. Sorry about that. That's some really nice music, and screw platforms. Oh, it's a Freedom Planet stage. I get it. That's kind of cool, actually. It's, it's a Freedom Planet inspired stage. I like that. I'm surprised I didn't recognize those things, because those are actually, like, uh, some of Revan's minions. And something tells me I'm gonna need a whole bunch of these crystals. Maybe it's just my treasure sense, maybe it's just gut. But I'm gonna try and hold on to as many of these as I can. Ah! I knew there was something up there. I'm gonna have to go back for a little bit to get that. Uh, okay. Little bit wonk on the jumping there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And pew! These guys are gonna have such a miserable day. Oh well. They signed up with the wrong crowd. That's a new enemy. I guess when it's, uh, mirrors glow like that, it reflects projectiles? I don't think I want to test that. Maybe that's just me being Noya, but hey. And you are a platform that just moves when stood on. Okay. Simple. Do you stay moved while I'm standing on you? You do. That's also an important note. There's nothing down here. It's literally just a failure nook. Noted. Ah! Damn it. Let's try that again. Ah! Just keep going forward. Oh, it's the, uh, cannons! I remember those things. From Revan's place. Uh... I like how these blue platforms just continually move downward while you're standing on them. Nice variety. I'll take some of those crystals. Totally something off to the left here. No? Like, that would totally be a good place to... Okay, they don't. So I guess they're just a hazard then? I don't know. Those platforms are fine, so that's good. Good. Oh, that's uh, Brevin's flying walker thing. I'm gonna have to fight that, aren't I? I wish I could get that, but that's in, like, hell. That's in, like, hell incarnate. I'm better off not. I'll take those. Yeah. Ow. Nice work. And now I'm in critical. Time to play it safe for a little bit. Perfect. And watch, checkpoint right here. I'm so glad I predicted that and decided to go for the hell. Because otherwise, I would have suffered another stupid death as a result of... <laughs> Fate tempted? Yes. <laughs> there we go. And... 
Noted. I actually have to jump on that one. Try again next week. Uh, apparently I could use this thing to bounce around for a little bit. Whew! That. Ah. I'm fighting losing battle, aren't I? Okay, you know what? Sure. Let's just take the bouncy bill all the way back again. Deal with it. Ah! That's actually fairly damaging. There we go. Oh, how do I get to you? Actually, I think I have an idea. No, it's a platform! Shoot! So, probably by using this thing. I was right. I love my guts sometimes. Fairly accurate with all these secrets. Eee! I could almost keep up with those bullets. That's cool. I saw it in the background again. That has me worried. There we go. That takes care of you. What is... A gravity field. Lovely. Gonna need to do some manipulation with that, aren't I? Uh... Okay, uh... Okay! Uh, That's not a little buggy. That's not a little buggy in the slightest. There we go. Sweep in. And ignore you. Well, good. Less good. Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah, I'm supposed to be using this thing to help me get up to this screw. Then I keep going. Oh, there's totally something down there. Progress. Ah! Maybe I should have obeyed the floating screw right there and actually got off, gotten off the platform. I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Eh. Oh my god! <laughs> Almost let my gut... I nearly said that incorrectly. Almost let myself get swarmed there. Probably not a good idea. Good. Whoop! Good. Wait. There we go. And get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. There we go. But there is totally something left, isn't there? And so there was. But how? Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Probably not the best idea. Crap. I needed that health over there. I do need those. I, I think I want those crystals. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just greed. But something tells me that if I have enough of these, then I'm gonna be getting something at the end of all this. Just doing my job after all. Don't Maybe it's me, just okay? my uh, inner loot senses over tingling. Oh, clubbed in the face by mirrors. Is that seven years bad luck if I break by a mirror? <laughs> Burning questions. <laughs> uh, I should be using my saber more. I like melee weapons in the Mega Man games. I'm weird in that respect. I'm also in very much in my own in the minority. Most people see Mega Man and go, if it's not going to attack, if it's not, if it's not going to attack long distances, then it's not worth my time. But 
therein lies the issue. Sometimes, being able to use a weapon that attacks from a distance is more likely to screw you over than something that's going to attack at short range. Besides that, usually the short-ranged weapons end up burning a little less in costs than the longer ones, than the long-range ones do. Maybe that's just me and my perception? That's at least how I see it. Yes, I'm one of those people who actually goes out of their way to find uses for, uh, Flame Sword in Mega Man 8. I'm weird like that, respect it. Okay, when you stop, I need to book it and be patient. Most importantly, be patient. That counts as a platform on the reverse side. Noted. So far, so good. Whoop! And what do we have up here? More gemels. Whoop! And a checkpoint. I'm gonna need that. I don't think I'll be able to make any progress right there. So that means gimmicking with these platforms right here. Excellent. Crap. It's alright, I wanted these gems anyway. I'm a bit greedy like that, what can I say? And... there we go. There we go. I don't like how you're shooting at me, but I'll deal with it. Whoa. Excellent! <laughs> Triple excellent! I knew the music disc was gonna be right there! Gut feeling, you know? You're taking your sweet-ass time! <laughs> Damn it. Nice shooting. Little bits of progress. Whee! Ow! Anyone catch the number of that zero that hit me? Oh, what?! Clever. It's a clever little. Ow. They actually anticipated that players would just snipe that thing from afar, so they put invincible... So they put shot reflectors right there, so you wouldn't do it. Genius. That's genius level design. Devious. Okay. Excellent. Missed it a gem, but by the look of it, it doesn't seem like it mattered. What's that thing? If I remember correctly, this was one of the bosses. Yeah, it is one of the bosses. I'm trying to remember what level. I think it was in Brevin's base? Some of its attacks are new, though. And it has fairly lengthy invincibility time. Damn it. If I had all the energy in the world to is at my side, I would totally like to try and uh, shut that thing down using only the saber, but I don't. So let's not. That was powder in terms of damage. Hit you a few more times. Yeah, that's doing powder in terms of damage. Noted. Although, if I'm careful, it shouldn't matter all too much that I'm doing powder in terms of damage. And by the look of it, yep, you're in your pinch mode. I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that screen. There we go. Good work, me. 
Bad work, me. Really bad work, me. There we go. Hey, we got a chip out of it. Cool. I hope I didn't need to separately collect that chip. Otherwise, I'm gonna have some problems. Just in case, let's double check Wily's hunka dunka bunka. Just to see whether I have it. Good, I do have it. Excellent. So in that case, let's see if I can't spend some of my hard-earned dosh. Answer? I have enough to get the energy saver. Really useful. So all that's left is costumes and a whole bunch of tanks. And this locked item, which I don't know what it is. We'll see. While I'm at it, let's see if there's another, uh... There is not another arena. That's interesting. Well, in that case... Actually, let's see what Wily has to say. <laughs> Sorry, Wily. Seems you're gonna have no luck in terms of that. So in that case, I guess we can drop by Mega City. See what the uh, scientist lady had to say about it. Once I figure out where Mega City is. There. Don't mind me, just destroying the tiles, the cement, all the grass and flowers and everything you hold dear in life. Hey, it's you! How's the chip recovery going? How many are left? Hmm, looks like you're missing Icicle, Zap, Psycho... I think that's it. Oh, what? That's all you have to say. Crap. I meant to hit... What else is going on? Me? I've been working on a new proto... It's on a new type of simulation, actually. One that can read your memories. But, uh, it's a bit buggy. Noted. Do you react when I have the chip equipped? No, you do not. So I guess I'd have to call about it using the phone? I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Eh, while I'm at it, might as well do another level, right? What's the worst that can happen? The Red Woods by Spade Magnus. Three discs. This looks vaguely familiar. I don't exactly know why, but... Hmm. Fires out a fireball of some type. Z-Saber gets some extra reach, by the look of it. Z-Burst turns into fireballs. And the Burst Drive... Oh, I'm gonna like this. Normally, I don't really care for fire-based things in games, but in this case, I think I can make an exception. And I just realized there was a hut back there. Could I have... No, I could not. At that. Okay. These look distinctly Genesis, but I can't place the game. These are meant to echo some game. I don't know what. Off the top of my head, at least. I wish I did. Maybe, uh... Maybe... Part of the Ghouls and Ghosts series? Specifically, like, uh... Firebrand's Adventures. I'm trying to remember, uh... What exactly his games were called. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Try again. Ollie all. Oh boy, they are trying again, and successful! These things are really starting to bug me. Ha! Where's the music disc? Did I miss it? I 
had to have missed it, right? There's gotta be something obvious somewhere. Like a platform right over here. Doi. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good way to make these more predictable. Actually introduce markers that they obey. Because in Mega Man 1, they were the bane of pretty much every player's existence. Why is that a checkpoint? That is like the most unsafe place to put a checkpoint I have ever Ow. seen. <laughs> Having a mini boss based off of this thing is. What? Not again! How many weird deaths am I gonna have by just coming out of my slide animation? <laughs> Whoop! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so each of those totems shoots once. The middle heads fire out. Then the top and bottom heads spit fly themselves across the screen. That's a checkpoint? I mean, I kinda get it. But at the same rate, it's not like that's a particularly difficult fight. Maybe the checkpoint is specifically because this section is a bit of a pain. I believe that. Whoopa! Oopa! Ratons. My worst enemy. Not exactly. My worst enemy in terms of. My worst enemy in terms of Mega Man games is myself. Because, for whatever reason, I fumbled the easiest of platforming challenges. <laughs> oh my god. Can we pretend all three of those deaths just never happened? It would be so good for my psychosis. No? Okay, fine. We'll deal with it. <laughs> sure. Get hit by that stray rat on. Oh, well, ain't you annoying. Have some sniping. Take care of them. Actually, hold on. I just had a terrible thought. There is... absolutely nothing this way. Damn! Like, I totally would have hidden something over there, off in the little nook. But then again, they've been fair- Is it this stage- The Spade Magnus has been fairly... ...obvious with telling where loot is. Case in point. Okay, I think I understand this platforming challenge. First platform goes, I get on the second platform, and... ...skate around on that. I think from that second platform, I can make it over. I can! Excellent. Ha! Yeah. Fairly tricky trap, I'll give it credit where it's due. Repurposing the, uh, plant mini-bosses spike mace like that is actually fairly cool. Oh, this is just mean! He says as he clears the trap in one attempt. Okay. Okay, me. Maybe I'm actually good at platformers after all. Either that or I just need to warm up a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. I don't like this in the slightest. I don't care what it looks like, I don't like it one bit. Oh, no. What? Good. What?! Fine, I'll take the damage. Whew. I deserve that checkpoint. For skill. Not again! Oh, it's even bigger! It's even bigger now! Are you kidding? Ugh, jeez. You know what? Trying out the new fire chip.
Just set this to fire and forget. Ow. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. I really like this chip. It's got some really good firing patterns. Of course, I think its main flaw is its damage output at any point in time. I could be wrong about that. I suppose it's time for a checkup. It has been a little while since the last one. Oh. Blast it! Blast it all! You you rang? <laughs> uh, is this a bad time? What? Oh, it's you. I sent you to get the energy elements, right? Yes. Have you forgotten already? No, no. It's just uh, this core isn't turning out so well. It's far too dangerous to use its current state. Only an idiot would go ahead with a plan with this many flaws. I need some time off. I'll take an evil vacation or something to clear my head. That'll be And what about my mission? Mission? Uh, whatever. You can take a vacation, too. Do whatever you want. I'm leaving for now. Okay. Hmm. Is that it? Well, I suppose I do not have to choose between my missions anymore. Back to doing what I wanted to do. Evidently. Hmm. You know, I was gonna say fishy, and then this showed up. Vertical Vine Venture by Big Fish. Let's see what this is in store for me. Ah. One of those vines is not vertical in the slightest. You lied to me. Oh, this doesn't look so bad so far. Of course, that was just the first screen, so who knows. Eh. But it's just a run to the energy element, so it shouldn't be terrible. Good. moves a little further and a little faster. That's some really smooth animation on that. Hmm. I want to go back for those bolts. That's not that much of an issue. It's tiny money, but hey. Maybe something more valuable is on this path. Or not. Or not. It's fine. There's the checkpoint that I've been wanting. Moving vines. That's not a good sign. Oh, that's really not a good sign. Scrolling vertical stage. Lovely. I love my elevators. Ah! Oh, that's a really nice touch. The help this is the help pickup so this guy's to look like uh, plant pods. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit of a sucker for things with a natural aesthetic. And in this case, that looks really nice. Next checkpoint. Ow. That could have been a little better. If I don't... Because if I decide to use the stomp, then... Yeah, that would have been a much better escape. Wait for it. There we go. I don't need weapon power, since I haven't used weapon power whatsoever. Oh, that's DB. I didn't notice that there was spikes there. <laughs> that's devious. I hate you already. And I forgot, I can't use the stomp and the, uh... The air slide simultaneously. Sucks. Okay, so that's safe. Just need to memorize where exactly the spikes are before I get myself hammered. Noted. Not too bad. Yeah. Take care of you. 
few more bolts. Every little bit helps. It's a little weird that though yeah, that these vines aren't exactly taking up uh or sorry, that these vines are taking up full tiles when they don't have nearly enough space to take up. You know what I mean. Please, you couldn't convince me with that. Not another one. Okay, that was safe. That was safe. Whew. What? That touched me? Are you kidding? Uh, fine. Fine. I'll take the damage. Yeah. Next through there. That's what I'm talking about. And evidently I had to do something like that. Better. Slightly less. Oh, come on! I thought I made that. Ugh, I definitely didn't make that. So, boss fight. What have we got this time? What in the holy bone dragon? This has to be a reference I'm missing. This has to be a, me a reference I'm missing, because this is actually a really cool boss, and this has to have been in another game. It just has that artwork key. It just has that feel in terms of its artwork, you know? Okay, so play it safe. Only get off one hit every time it goes around. It's a fairly simple boss fight. I get it. So give it a hit there. Give give it a hit there. Evidently I missed. Give it a hit there. Yeah, this is a really simple fight. If I'm careful, I might be able to get two hits off. Of course, it depends on how careful I want to be. Evidently, I can't completely clear its head every time it does that. And I think the safe point for me to get those two hits off is when it's on the bottom. Otherwise, I should probably leave it be. Get hit there, and coming out at the bottom. Good. Move. Yep, as I figured, only the head takes damage. Fairly simple fight, all things considered. And 1 HP. Come a little closer, why don't you? Phew. And that is how Zero became known as Bone Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer was taken, so you had to settle for the next best thing. What? And I think that'll about do it for right now. So, got a new chip, played with a new chip, and next time around. We're going to be seeing what exactly happens with... Oh no. I feel like that's going to be going over my head. A little too much physics for my liking. Till again. Hold the